Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another video for you guys and today I'm going to show you guys my updated foundation, highlight and contour routine. If you guys want to see how I got this entire look then please continue to watch this video. Let's get started. So to hydrate my skin I'm going to apply some Fix Plus spray all over and I like to use this to refresh and hydrate. Next I'm going to apply my favorite primer. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It's oil free and it also helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and pore and it also gives my foundation a really nice smooth velvety finish. Okay you guys, I must say I'm completely obsessed with this foundation. I've been using it for about three weeks now and I'm just absolutely loving it. It is amazing, it's a matte finish and it also is full coverage. And to me, it doesn't feel heavy at all. I just really love the coverage of this foundation. Now to apply my foundation, I'm using a buffing brush and this one is from Coastal Sense, I believe. Now after I apply with the brush, I like to go in with my Real Technique sponge or my Beauty Blender sponge, it doesn't matter. Those two are my favorite. And my sponge is a little bit on the damp side so it's not soaking wet so you want to make sure your, your sponge is a little damp now this will ensure that the foundation is evenly distributed all over the face and it has a nice flawless finish next I'm gonna do some color correcting so I do have dark circles under my eyes a little bit of darkness uh, right by the sides of my lips so I'm gonna go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kit and this is in the uh, this is the dark kit and I'm gonna grab the shade coral so it's kind of like an orangey peach tone and it's just gonna cancel out any any darkness and I'm gonna go in with my damp beauty blender sponge now you guys are not gonna see me do a highlight contour with this uh, product right away because to be honest with you I'm not loving it 100% but if you guys want to see a video with it I will do that the reason why I'm not really loving it so much because I find that the product is a little bit on the dry side Next I'll be using the Kevin Akon Skin Enhancer and I think this is in the shade S, S, <laughs> oh my god I can't talk, SX08 or SX07, I'm not sure and I just love using this to highlight. I love the formulation, it blends really really well. Now when you're highlighting you want to use a product that is about a couple shades lighter than your skin tone so that exact that is exactly what I'm doing. I'm using something that is a few shades lighter, I think it's like two to three shades lighter than my skin tone and I applied under my eyes to brighten up my eye area and I also placed this on my chin as well as my center of my forehead down the bridge of my nose and also around my lips and cupid's bow area and this will make my lips appear a bit rounder and fuller I do like that look now to apply the product I like to use the real techniques foundation brush Next I'll be using the black opal foundation stick. This is in the shade hazelnut. So it's about two shades darker than my skin tone. And I use this quite a lot for my cream contour. You can also use a concealer or foundation. I'm gonna apply it in the hollows of my cheek. This will create the illusion of higher cheekbones. Along my jawline, this will also slim down my face a bit as well. And along my forehead and down the size of my nose to give my nose a slimmer appearance. Now by contouring the face, this will add definition and dimension. Now just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you guys like my face, what it looks like when it's highlighting contour with the products on it. But usually what I would do normally is I would put the highlighter on first, the Kevin Akon, and I blend it out right away because I find that it's a lot easier for me to blend it right away because it dries really fast. But just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to show you guys. So I'm going to go in with two uh, damp sponges and I use two because one I use for my highlight, one I use for the contour. So I'm using the Real Technique uh, blending sponge. It's a little bit on the damp side like I mentioned before I always use my sponges damp and I'm just gonna blend out the highlighted areas I absolutely love highlighting and contouring with cream products for me I find that it's a lot easier I know some people say it's harder when you're beginner But to me I find that cream is just so much easier to work with because with powder It's like one wrong move and it's just over so you just want to take your time with it and just blend It does take a bit of practice to get the hang of it to blend out my contour, I also like to use a brush. The brush that I'm using is the MAC Dual Fiber Brush. I can't remember the number, but I will put it in the description bar down below. And then I go in with the Real Techniques uh, blending sponge and just blend out any harsh lines or anything like that, just to make everything look nice and even and flawless. Now, as you can see, I'm using the brush and I'm kind of going upwards with it. And then I go back in with my blending sponge and then I carve out my cheeks just to give it a nice, defined, uh, high cheekbone look. Thank you. 
and also to create a higher cheekbone I like to go back into the lighter concealer and just apply it under where I place the contour under my cheekbone just to lift my cheekbone and make them look higher and then I'm gonna go in with the dual fiber brush and blend out the contour along my jawline and I completely forgot to mention to you guys that I do use a small amount of foundation on my sponge so I apply a small amount of foundation just to help to blend out the contour just so we don't have any harsh um, contour lines Moving on to powder, to set the highlighted areas, I'm using the Laura Mercier Invisible Loose Powder and I'm going to use one of these puffer thingies to apply it. I don't exactly know what it's called, but I got it at my local drugstore. Now the next step is completely optional, you don't have to use two setting powders. So next I'll be using the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana to also set the highlighted areas. And the reason why I like using both is because I love the Ben Nye Powder because it has a hint of yellow and I also have a yellow undertone. However, I don't like how it feels on its own on my skin. And as for the Laura Mercier Powder, it, has, it just feels really nice and soft, just like it says like Invisible Loose Powder. It just feels amazing, however the powder is white and I can't just use a white translucent all over my face. Next I'm going to fill in my brows and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow with Pencil in Dark Brown. And I'm also letting the powder sit on my face as you can see. And this is called cooking. Now to cook your makeup is a term that is used by drag queens. The benefit of cooking your makeup is to let your body's warmth heat up your makeup, melting it. As your makeup oxidizes, it settles and changes color and texture. So you end up with a smoother poreless finish and I absolutely love the finish of letting my makeup sit on my face for about, I usually let it sit for about maybe 10 to 20 minutes, but just for this video's sake, I think I only had it on for like 10 minutes. And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and use a powder brush just to dust away any excess powder. Then I'm gonna go into my MAC Studio Fix Powder NC45, and I'm just, just gonna apply it in the areas that I didn't highlight, just to bring the color back into my skin. Next, I'm gonna move on to liner, and I'm gonna use the Tardiest Tarte Paint Liner, and I'm gonna line my top lash line with this, using the angle brush and oh my gosh you guys isn't that the worst when you're putting on liner I had I guess I had some of the gel liner on my fingers and I got it on my face and I'm just gonna use a wet wipe just to wipe it away but I don't recommend using something wet try to use like a cotton swab if this ever happens to you because it might take off a foundation and that would really suck but anyways going back to the liner so yes I'm lining the top lash line and creating a wing I'm also applying some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. I'm using the Ico Black Magic Mascara. And lashes are always optional. I'm gonna use one of my favorite lashes. This is the L'Amour Mink Lashes in Abelia. Absolutely love them. And then I'm gonna go into my Amrezy palette and I'm gonna grab the eyeshadow caramel and I'm just gonna apply this all over the eyelid. And then for the inner corner of my eyes, I'm gonna take the MAC Loose Pigment in Naked just to brighten up the eyes a bit and just place it in the inner corner using a pencil brush. And that is pretty much it guys for the eyes. Kept it real, real simple and easy for you guys because the main focus is definitely foundation, highlighting and contouring. So now I'm gonna complete my face and I'm gonna go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder Kit. You guys know I love this kit. And I'm gonna grab the shade Cinnamon and I'm gonna go ahead and contour the hollows of my cheek just to give my skin a more defined to give my skin, to give my face a more defined contour and obviously set the cream products that we used early because that will not last all day long on me. I have to set it with the powder contour and then I grab this darker shade. I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but I'm just gonna use it to carve out my cheek to give myself a stronger defined cheek. I will put the name of the products in the description bar down below. And the brush that I use is a angle brush by BH Cosmetics. Now I'm gonna grab this really light, uh, blush it's it's by sigma once again not sure of the name i think it's called cheeky but i'll put it in the description bar down below and i'm going to apply it on the apples of my cheek and then i'm going to go back into the contour powder from anastasia beverly hills in the shade cinnamon and i'm just going to run it along the sides of my nose and then i'm going to go with my blending sponge just to blend it out so it doesn't look harsh 
Next I'll be taking the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo and I must say it is growing on me. I'm starting to like this product. I like the bronzer uh, more and this one is actually in the shade number two and I use it for the bronzer and then I'm gonna take a fan brush. I'm obsessed with this fan brush. I got it at my local drugstore. It's from a brand called Quo and I'm just gonna use the shimmer and highlight the highest point of my cheekbones and yes, I'm gonna go into my Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow because I love it so much. I love the glow. So I'm just applying it on the highest point of my cheekbones and down my nose the tip of my nose and also on my cupid's bow and next I'll be taking the MAC fix plus spray and I'm just gonna apply this all over my face I absolutely love using this stuff it's just gonna give my face a nice refresh and glowy look and then I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite lip pencil this is a MAC hover lip pencil and I'm gonna apply it all over my lips today absolutely love wearing it Now I usually love to wear this lip pencil on its own, however my lips are a little bit dry so I'm going to apply some gloss to this look as well. Then I'm going to go in with my foundation and just clean up the sides so it looks nice and clean. Now a lot of you girls on my Instagram have been asking me lately if I got my lips done recently. Guys, I did not do anything to my lips. All I've been doing is using makeup to make my lips appear larger and fuller. I like to make them look a little bit rounder and fuller so I go in with my uh, MAC Cork lip pencil and I overline my lips just a tad bit and because I apply the concealer at the side well the foundation at the side it does kind of change the shape of my lips so that's why they look a little different for those of you who have been asking me but that's all I've been doing it's just a makeup trick So this is pretty much the completed look. Now once my face is completed, I'm gonna go in and set my makeup with my Urban Decay Setting Spray. And this is gonna ensure that my makeup lasts all day, all night long, and I can go swimming. I'm just kidding, I can't even swim, and I'm not gonna go swimming in makeup especially not this much makeup but yeah this is the completed look i really hope you guys enjoy this look please thumbs this video up if you like and i will see you guys in another video very very soon i love you guys bye he was sleeping the whole time i was doing the tutorial and now that i'm doing the intro he's wide awake wide awake to start trouble right yeah